Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the iPhone battery. I know this is a problem for most people. The iPhone battery draining really really fast is a huge problem. There are a few factors that will make your iPhone's battery drain really really fast. So in this video I will focus on those things that will drain the battery of your iPhone and of course I will show you guys how you can fix them so you get better battery life on your iPhone. Now the first thing that will drain the battery of your iPhone really really fast is cold weather. Now this is a huge huge factor. During winter cold weather will drain your battery really really fast. Of course hot temperature does that as well but not as cold temperature. If you leave your iPhone on cold it will drain really really fast. Of course there's nothing we can do about cold weather but what you can do is just keep your iPhone not exposed to cold weather. If you're outside on the cold in the winter make sure you just use your iPhone just like as little as possible and then just put it on your pocket or somewhere where it's hotter. Don't keep it exposed like leave it on a table or leave it standing somewhere where it's really really cold because that of course will drain the battery really really fast. So when on cold weather make sure you protect your iPhone from the cold and make sure you use it as less as possible because cold weather will drain the battery really really fast. Now of course there are some really awesome features on iOS but they drain a lot of battery and one of them is found under settings under display and brightness you will find right here rise to wake. Now this is a feature that's really cool but this is one of those features that I turn off immediately when I get a new phone. So what it does is that it will wake up the screen of your iPhone once you pick your iPhone from a table or once you get your iPhone out of the pocket. Of course that will drain battery. Your iPhone is always aware of the movements and will always track the movements and then of course based on the movements it will also light up the screen of the iPhone. So what you can do here is just go to settings, go to display and brightness and make sure you disable rise to wake. Another huge factor on draining the battery of your iPhone is the cellular coverage. So if you're on an area where cellular co coverage is really poor then your iPhone's battery will drain really really fast. Now if you go to your iPhone and take a look at the status bar you will notice there those four bars that indicate the cellular coverage strength. So if those are at one or at two it means that you have like very poor connectivity there, the coverage is really really poor and of course the battery will drain faster as your iPhone will try to keep connected to the cellular network and of course that will drain and use a lot of batteries. So if you're on an area where you see that the coverage is really poor and your device doesn't have a strong connection what I suggest you do is go ahead and turn on the airplane mode. Now what that does is that it will disconnect from the network. Now of course if you need to use your iPhone you can go ahead and turn off the airplane mode and use it your use your iPhone and then quickly go ahead and put it on the airplane mode again because that of course will drain a lot of battery. Your iPhone trying to keep connected to the cellular network will drain a lot of battery. And of course the brightness of the screen is really important when it comes to battery drain. I see a lot of people disable auto brightness on their iPhones and then just turn up the brightness all the way. That's really really bad for the iPhone and of course for the battery of your iPhone. Now what you want to do is make sure that you always keep on auto brightness. Now you can do that by going to settings, go to accessibility, go to display and text size and make sure you have auto brightness turned on. Now this is a great feature that iOS offers. Of course it will change the display brightness based on the ambient where you're on the lighting where you're at and that of course will make the iPhone screen turn down the brightness automatically and of course will preserve a lot of battery. If you keep that off and turn off the, the brightness all the way up the battery will drain really fast. A huge factor when it comes to draining battery are apps. Of course there are a ton of apps that you probably use that will cause the battery to drain. Now some of them will drain a lot of battery because they are poorly made. Some of them are great apps but they just drain a lot of battery. So you can see which of your apps drains more battery by going to settings and then go to battery and right here we'll find a list 
of all the apps that you have installed on your device and of course it will show you how much battery they have used just tap right there show activity and of course you can see here how much you have used those apps now, if you have like an app that you have used a lot of course that app will consume more battery but if you see like an app that you have used for a few minutes and it has consumed a lot of battery then that's a problem you have to get rid of that app of course you will probably find a replacement for that app on the app store and you can see that for 24 hours or you can go ahead and see that for the last 10 days and you will see right here how much each of the apps has consumed the battery on your iphone when talking about apps of course a very important part are notifications as well now i see a lot of people just keep notifications on for all the apps what i suggest you do is go ahead and turn off notifications for most of the apps notifications are a very important part when it comes to draining the battery of your iphone your iphone will always keep on pushing notifications lighting up the screen and always of course draining battery so what you have to do is go to settings go to notifications and make sure you check the list of all the apps that you have installed and make sure to turn off notifications for apps that you don't need to have notifications on like for example the app store right here i can just go ahead and click that switch right there and just completely turn off the notifications for that app make sure you go ahead and do that for all the apps which notifications are not important to you so just keep on the apps that you need to have notifications and of course a huge part on draining battery are location services as well so you can find location services by going to settings then to privacy and location services are right here so what location services does is that always it tracks your location that will consume a ton of battery being one of the biggest factors when it comes to draining the battery of your iphone so what i suggest you do is go ahead and turn off completely low location services if you don't need it go ahead and turn it off so you need location services to basically do something you can go ahead and enable it once you need it and then completely turn it off once you're done don't leave it on all the time i see a lot of people do that just keeping location services on all the time and that will of course drain a lot of battery now if you don't want to turn off location services completely you can do that individually for each of the apps that you have installed you just go to location services you will find a list of the apps right there just click on never and then you will turn off the location services for that particular app and you can leave it on just for some apps that you need it to be on of course the biggest battery drainer on your iphone is the display of the iphone so you need the display to be turned off as much as possible in order to preserve battery life on your iphone now to make sure that happens go ahead go to settings go to display and brightness and go to auto lock and just choose 30 seconds or one minute so you're sure that after 30 seconds even if you leave your iphone somewhere the display will be turned off and of course your iphone lock that's better for security as well so if you keep this at never and you just place your iphone on a table or somewhere you forget it there the iphone will be turned on all the time the screen will be turned on all the time and that of course will drain your battery really really fast Keeping the Bluetooth of your device on all the time is of course another factor that will drain the battery of your iPhone. Now if you leave Bluetooth on, it will always trying to connect to devices, always scanning for devices near your iPhone and that of course drains a lot of battery. Now with iOS 12 and iOS 13, Apple has added this awful feature on control center that doesn't allow you to completely turn off the Bluetooth but you will have to go to settings and go to the bluetooth section and make sure you disable bluetooth from here same as the bluetooth airdrop will also consume a lot of battery if you leave it always on it's constantly searching for devices near you and that of course will drain a lot of battery so what you need to do is go ahead and make sure you turn it off so just click on receiving off and you're good to go you will have airdrop turned off so that it doesn't scan all the time in the background and consume a ton of battery 
another setting that you need to turn off is found under privacy so if you go to privacy you will find here motion and fitness now what this does is that it will track your movement and then of course they will be used by apps the health apps the fitness apps and all of that that's really really cool but if you don't use any of the fitness apps or the health app make sure you turn this off fitness tracking always tracking your movements and motion will of course drain a ton of battery and last but not least is of course background app refresh your apps refreshing in the background all the time will drain the battery of your iphone so what you need to do is go ahead go to settings go to general go to background app refresh and here we'll have a few options the first one right here is to completely turn it off so you don't want your apps to refresh in the background you just go ahead and completely turn it off that's of course the best options to save battery but if you want to have some of the apps refreshing in the background make sure you choose wi-fi not wi-fi and cellular data because refreshing on cellular data will consume a ton of battery so make sure you choose wi-fi and then come to the list of the apps here and here you need to go ahead and turn off apps that you don't need to be refreshing in the background so you will have a ton of apps here of course go ahead and turn off the ones that you don't care about you don't need them to be refreshed in the background make sure to turn off as much as possible so that's pretty much it for this video guys as you could see right there these are some of the main reasons of the iphone's battery draining and of course the fixes to all of them which will minimize the draining of the battery of your iphone so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one